I'm kind of what you would consider a two-time survivor. I survived my own domestic violence relationship and then eight years later was faced with having to survive losing a daughter to domestic violence. I lost my daughter Brandy at the age of 22 in a murder-suicide. It was November 25th, Thanksgiving night, 2010. Brandy and Robert had gone to a bar to watch football and hang out with some friends. They were arguing at the bar. Several people knew that something was going on. They offered to give Brandy a ride home. Robert's two nephews offered to give, him, give her a ride home. And he said, if you give her a ride home, I'll never speak to you again. And in reality, he never spoke to him again because that night as they left the bar, they were driving down the road arguing. Robert pulled out a pistol, put it to Brandy's head and pulled the trigger. It changed everything about me. It changed who I was. I mean, when you have a child, you have hopes and dreams for each one of your children. And it not only stole those dreams, but it stole a part of me. My husband and I have been married for 10 years. And in reality, the night he woke me up to tell me Brandy was dead, I changed. Our family changed. We won't ever be the same. I'm not, I'm always going to be Brandy's mom, but I'm different. Education is number one. We have to start at a young age with our youth and teaching them about healthy relationships and what domestic violence is, what it looks like. We need to not just set the example and show them, but we need to be talking about what's healthy and unhealthy so that whenever our youth get old enough to form relationships of their own, they know what to look for. They know what the red flags are, what the pink flags are. We teach our youth to drive vehicles. We talk about drugs and alcohol. And it's a part of a curriculum. We need domestic violence and healthy relationships to be a part of our public school system, a part of that. If one person would have stepped in and said, no, Brandy, you're not leaving with him tonight. I would have went and picked my daughter up at the police station. We need to make it our business and people need to not just look the other way when they see that someone's being mistreated because it could save a life.